everyone welcome back to my channel serendipity by melanie i'm going to carry on unboxing some of the salt and pepper shakers that i have just trying to clean out my office so once i unbox them then i can carry on and start listing them these ones aren't listed i have seen something like this set online i don't know what's in these boxes i haven't seen these ones before she just packaged them all up for me, salt and pepper. I believe these are bone or imitation. Um, the stopper just fell out as I tapped it. <laughs> and so I'll grab that after, I would imagine. Hence why you need to clean up, right? So a few of these on top are not boxed or wrapped. But look at these kitties. Oh my word. And they're magnetic. So they stand together like that. They're made in Japan. See the magnets? I'm getting all excited again. And here's the sticker from Made in Japan. There we go. But those are sweet. Oh, and it even says on the front magnetic. The bells. Cute. So the larger one has the S and the P, googly eyes, the whiskers, and the ears are leather. I'm just looking at these two. It looks, oh, it says salt, not Japan. So they have their own stand. They're imitation corn cob pipes. And on the bottom it says Portland, Oregon. Patent approved. So one has the metal piece here, which I assume is the stopper, but this one does not. And it might be in this box. Who's to say? <laughs> Here's salt and pepper, Portland, Oregon again. They look like uh, moonshine bottles. And on the back here it says the Portland, Oregon. And they seem wood. Like here's the base. And they seem like they're wooden. The corks are there. Just the S and P for salt and pepper. Oh, this first set that I looked at, Montrose, it says here. And I'd have to look that up. Unless you know where that is. I assume it's a place. Oh, these are cute. One says, oh, they both say Washington. They're metal. Little teapots. The stoppers are on the bottom and it does say Japan if you look up top here if I can focus in on it it says it right on the base here but those are sweet little things and they're a little heavy like because they're metal I would imagine pot metal but I'm not a hundred percent sure I don't see any 925, it's just the word Japan that I see. And I would imagine this is the tray that goes with them. And it says made in Japan, so I assume that this is a set. Because they fit nicely. Okay. Oh, there are two. So these say Canada, this set. And they both have their stoppers. So those are nice. 
and these do not feel like wood they feel like a, just a plastic okay now I have to start unwrapping that was just the top little bit of the box these seem a little small Aw, you guys it says Japan on the bottom by gift craft Toronto aren't these the best for Easter aren't they cute little bunnies and here's the mark here and the base does say oops my hands are backwards <laughs> it does say Japan these aren't very tall but little pink on the paws very cute I'll wrap them back up afterwards. Here's another smaller set. And just the stamp of Japan. I believe these are like 50s and 60s. Oh. <laughs> oh, these are cute. I've seen these before. But these say made in Japan. And they've got the um, opalescent coloring here. A little paint loss on the cold paint. Yeah, made in Japan. They both have their stoppers. Those are sweet. So one is all purple on the head, except the beak, and the other one is orange. This thing is quite large. Very impressive so far. Some of the gold gilding on the top is worn off. I'm just unwrapping. It's uh, five pieces here. So I'm just finished unwrapping. The base says Shofu, made in Japan, S-H-O-F-U. <coughs> and I don't, isn't that pretty? I like that. And you can see some of the gold uh, gilding on the top. There, I don't see a spoon. It wasn't wrapped up in it. Um, Mrs. Bellwood is written on the bottom of the tray. So I'll just show that to you. And then the sticker is the other way, which is made in Japan. That's very nice. And the top of the salt and peppers. I like the... Okay, the stoppers are inside. <laughs> and I think that's where it'll stay. <laughs> oh, this one was taped up a little paper tearing. They're cute. Their eyes are closed. Yellow. The stoppers are inside. I don't see anything written on the bottom. Sleepers. Aw, oh, they're cute. I like things like that. Um, I think it's the little girl in me. I think they call this cottage core now. They don't use the terminology of shabby chic. And they are made in China. But yes, cottage core they call it now. Somebody patented the name shabby chic. And the stoppers are there. 
but the roses seem in very good shape. I don't see any chips or breakage. Those are cute. <clears throat> For, I probably mentioned it before, but Shabby Chic is, I really like the coloring, the pastels, not the brightness. It just calms me. Oh, these are cute. I know a lot of people are enjoying Pixies lately. And so here's a couple of them sitting on books, reading and resting. These are probably about three inches high. The cold paint is wearing on the red hat, but it's not chipping, it's just wear. Made in Japan is on the base. They both have their stoppers. But yeah, it's just paint wear. Those are great. All my wrapping. <laughs> Crowding me. Oh, these are nice. Pine cones. One has a stopper. They both say Japan. So there's the base of that one with Japan written on it. Up at the top. So I haven't seen ones like that, but they should be fairly easy to look up. And like I said before, I don't know about all this stuff, so looking it up is, I'm learning how to do that better. It takes me a while. Once you get used to it, it will be less time. <clears throat> and on the bottom, one says Edna, August 1944. There are no stoppers, but look at these. Aren't they cute? Oh my goodness. <laughs> the, the darker one says ETT. I would imagine her initials. But Edna, August 1944. Little few pieces of um, markings on the brown one. But my goodness, they're from 1944. Those are great. Hmm. Oh, Kamloops, BC. That's very close to where I am and where I grew up. These are feel like leather on the outside, plastic tops, plastic bottoms. And we have powwow grounds here, and people travel all over the world, usually August long weekend, the first weekend in August, and they all come here for this huge powwow. And it's beautiful, like the drumming and the outfits. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. I usually go every other year just to listen to some of the dances see the costumes but it is you know people camp there they tent they motor home and they just have such a good weekend lots of stuff for sale these ones don't have any mark on the bottom nor do they have their stoppers but I like the colors like the camera is showing true to the colors that I'm seeing. Oh, one beak is broken off. See that? Oh, that's too bad. And I don't see it in the paper. But yeah, that's quite a bit of damage to that beak. You can see the big chip there. But they have like little snowflakes on them, it looks like, or flowers, but it reminds me of penguins. I'm very spoiled. I just get to find all these 
interesting items and get a chance to enjoy them and share them with everybody. There's another antique store in, in the city, in Kamloops, and I'm wondering about asking him if I could come in and film. He has bought items from me before. When I used to live in town, I had a large garage, and he would come in and buy from me. I would imagine he'd be open to it, but like I say, I, I will ask permission, and these little witches. <laughs> one is more orange, and the other one has the yellow base. They both have their stoppers, which is a good thing, because they seem a different shape and size. But yeah, both witches are riding their brooms. Those are great. few whiskers missing on both of them. They have their stoppers, but there's no marking on the bottom. Little tigers, I, I would imagine. They're cute. Like I say, just a few whiskers left on both of them. These are a smaller size. These seem like a plastic, and they're Saskatchewan, um, which is the third province over. I'm in BC. The auction that Curiosity Inc. was is in Alberta, and then the next one is Saskatchewan, so that's in line. Um, they're little feet shaped on the bottom. They're not chips. It's just the way the formation is. So they both have their stoppers. And there's something written on one of the stoppers, but I'm, I'm unable to read it at this time. I'd have to look closer. But, um, yeah, it, paint missing on them. The one that says a Saskatchewan, and underneath here on the bottom of the crest, says Lily, L-I. L Y. So maybe Lily is their flower of their province. Oh goodness, these are heavy. These are stunning. Like they're probably four and a half, five inches. Has a number on the bottom, 23. Some initials BP, I'm not quite sure. Maybe this one I can read easier. No, not at all. So there, there is wear on the top of them. And I think that they would polish up. I wouldn't do that. I like them as they are. Like I say, they're very nice. And maybe I'll show you the bottom of this one because I was able to read it a little better than the other one. Just focusing in there. So if anybody knows, just hit me up in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Share the videos on your social media for me. And I'm just pulling out some wooden ones. Nassau, it says... So to me, that is Jamaica. I have friends that live there. They, um, their son came to Kamloops for schooling. That's how I met them. One cork missing. And I cannot read, the, oh, I cannot read the back. It seems smudged. It's a P and an S. <laughs> Hmm, that was a difficult word to see. I'm goofy these days, you guys. Just trying to enjoy the weather because it's spring. Things are melting. It's very slippery out there. I don't want to fall and hurt myself. And I take the dogs for a walk. So we usually just stick to the road. And uh, 
these are big. I'm just trying to rip the tape <laughs> while I shredded that one. She has them all wrapped up in sets so that I don't have to go looking for the other one. She did give me a few that were singles, and I will show them at a later time. So look at these. Made in Japan. They look like they would hang on the wall, but they don't. Um, no stoppers. They don't sit like that either. They would sit on the table like that. And I do live in a large cattle area, I would imagine. That would be the way to say it. People raise cattle in my area, in the town I grew up in. So one looks more feminine, which is this one to me, and then this is more masculine. But the glaze is great. few more to go, another half a dozen or so. So if you're interested in any of these, um, my email will be in the description below because I'm not going to take the time to list them right at the moment. I will hang on to them probably about a week and then I will send them off to a photographer to, to take the pictures and list them for me just because of the magnitude of everything I have and I'm not very good at taking pictures. I don't believe this is Curious George, but look at these monkeys. Those are hilarious. They both have their stoppers, but I don't see any markings on the bottom. One's a little darker up top. <laughs> so cute. Look how happy they are. These are nice. Yellowstone National Park. I just started watching the series uh, Yellowstone on Prime. Is that what you call Prime Video? And uh, just watched the first two yesterday. Um, I'm told by many, many people that it is a series that I will love. I like Lonesome Dove, that sort of thing. Um, this has a price stamped on it, but all I can see is the dollar sign and a one, just at the bottom there. So they have the metal stoppers, some crazing on top, but this one does, you can see it says pepper, but this one you can barely see the word salt on it. But I like things like that as well, like horses and... <clears throat> These ones, Hollywood, California. Well, look at those. They're wooden, cowboy boots. They're probably only two inch. So there's something on this one. Made by Ernie, 1955. So good job on those, Ernie. They both have five holes. And I think these are called Capa de Monte. Uh, hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. But they're fruit baskets. They're about three inches high. They both say Japan with the number 5270. There is no stopper in either of them. But those are pretty nice. Oops. Focus in a little better there. And they look like they're in good condition. Like I don't see leaves broken off or anything. So those are nice baskets. 
perfect for Easter. I think I'll put the box on the seat just because I'm running out of a little, any room here. This seems like a set with a tray and they're heavier. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I see. It says Mount Rushmore Shrine of National Memorial Democracy on the back of it. And the writing is quite large on the back. And on the base, it just has the word Japan. And you can see some pitting here. But they both have their stoppers. And they seem to be in really good condition. It's probably pot metal. That's something I've never seen. It's not that I'm worldly or anything, but I did have to read what it was because Mount Rushmore didn't come to my mind right away. When I'm filming, my mind goes blank because I'm trying to think of, look at the camera, don't look at the screen, is it in focus? And There's so many things for me to think about that isn't natural for me yet, which it comes with time, right? So when you see the googly eyes or the names just slip right past me. These are sweet, you guys, look. They just say Japan on the bottom. They both have their sticker, or only one has its sticker. Um, and they both have their corks. I'm just trying to angle that so it can focus in on the label here. But they're sweet. They have little bows on their back, around their collars. They look to be in great condition. Long eyelashes, very cute. <clears throat> Ooh, these ones are heavy. Maybe why they were on the bottom of the ball. They're pottery. Wow, I love the glaze. It says something. BC would be, so Canmore? No, Canmore's in Alberta. I'm not quite sure, sorry, I'll show you. Look at the glaze on these. And they're heavy. Good quality pottery. But I can't read it. I'll have to. Comox. C-O-M-O-X. B-C. I think that's in the Kootenays. And they both have their stoppers. I forget about the camera when I get so excited, you guys. But those are beautiful. Like light blues into greens. Green mixed with a bit of yellow and browns. The color seems to be showing up correct on my side, but those are beautiful. And I think those are only two, two and a half inches, and so they are quite heavy. I don't know. Salt and pepper shakers aren't usually that large, so we'll just see what we have inside. Might be a tray that goes along with everything. I hope you guys are doing good today. Hopefully spring is in your area and we're not having major winter storms anymore. Oh, nice. I'm pepper, I'm salt, I'm clove, I'm cinnamon, I'm nutmeg, I'm allspice. Look at that, you guys. 
Isn't that neat? Oh, perfect.